Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sam with Rococo and I am super excited to announce the release of Rococo Studio version 1.16. Uh, this latest version of Rococo Studio uh, includes the Motion Library, which is something that we are super excited for everyone to get their hands on. Uh, the Motion Library is Rococo's uh, motion capture marketplace. It's the largest marketplace for motion assets in the world. Um, we have a ton of amazing assets on here for people to purchase and then all, we also have a lot of assets that are free demo assets uh, that you can download to just kind of play around or even create uh, a full moves list and, and create some really cool um, stuff. So you can access Motion Library by clicking on this button right here in Rococo Studio. Um, you can organize everything by uh, how recently it was uploaded alphabetically by price if you're looking just to get some demo assets. Um, you can also adjust the UI to fit your, your setup. And then we also have some filters over here where you can uh, filter the all the motion capture assets by different categories. If we click on sports, for example, we can find a bunch of different sports. And you can preview the assets by hovering over each one of the tiles. If you want to get a closer look at the assets, you can just double click on them and this will open up an expanded view where you can get a little bit more detail. You can also scrub through the footage. You can adjust playback speed over here. You can play in slow motion if you want. Oops. Here we go. Boom. And we also have some basic information like the asset title, the publisher, and uh, a couple other details like the tags and also the frames per second. We have a couple other buttons up here as well. You can organize just by categories. You can look at publishers. If you have a particular publisher that you're looking for. You can also search the motion library manually by typing in a search term. If we're looking for all the walking, animations and these are actually still on this sport category so we can cancel the filters and it will show us all the animations in the motion library and here are a bunch of animations that are currently free so these are demo assets you can go ahead and download you can purchase assets by clicking these buttons over here and it will add them to your shopping cart which you can access by clicking this button up here to purchase an asset, simply confirm the order. And if they're assets that you will actually have to purchase, you can top off your account and uh, pay for those assets uh, just in, in the shopping cart. We also have this ability to preview the assets with a different character. And as we uh, keep growing Motion Library, we're, we're gonna be adding more and more characters, so you can uh, look out for that. And then finally, you have your library, and these are all the assets that you've purchased in the past, and uh, they're ready to go. The other big change with Rococo Studio 1.16 is that we've added the ability to live stream into Maya. We will have a whole tutorial on this process coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. We hope this little look was helpful for you guys, and we have a bunch of tutorials on how to use the motion library in Rococo Studio, as well as how to use the motion library, as well as how to use the motion library in the new Maya plugin. Uh, motion library is now native in Maya as well. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, and our support team is always ready to help you out at support at Thanks so much, guys, and stay tuned for more updates.